Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be creating a really colorful stone today with you guys. Lots of dots, lots of color, and there will be gold. So I am using an art stone molded uh, from, uh, handmade with molds from the Happy Dotting Company. I will leave a link in the description for you to click on and you can go there and visit the page. Also use my discount code for 10% off. My discount code is Rachel's Rocks Canada, all capital letters, no spaces. Uh, so I have painted my handmade stone and let it dry. It's black and uh, it looks kind of messy and can kind of see bits through it, but trust me, you aren't going to see that. Now I just want to kind of highlight a couple of things that I'm going to be teaching you guys today. Um, that nothing is perfect and still gorgeous and beautiful and you'll love it no matter what. I'm going to teach you a little bit about graduating color change um, and how much layers can actually affect your painting and another thing that I will explain a little bit later. Um, so I do have my center dot which is bigger but I'm using a toothpick of gold dots around there. They're all evenly apart as even as I can using my own judgment but I usually start one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the sides, uh, two, or one on either side, and then I go in between those with two other dots. So if you want to slow it down, I think there's a way that you are able to slow my videos down so that you can see them a little bit better. Now I'm going my next round of dots. We're going to do a lot of dots today, all different sizes. Now these are like a, a bright lime green, almost light green. Uh, I chose my lightest green that I had in my collection of paint. Now I'm going to do a second row once I did the first row. And it's going to be just a little bit bigger. I'm going to make my dots just a little bit bigger. Now you're going to see, uh, I, I, like I said, I want to tell you that nothing's perfect. So none of my dots, I'm going to purposely throughout this video, um, not make perfect dots so that you can see, even if you can't make a perfect dot, even if you're new to dotting, you can still do this. So I want you to know that I'm going to be messy with my dots. They're not going to be perfect. I'm doing a third row of this light green or bright green. What I'm going to actually find out for you. It's Craft Smart Light Green. All my pink colors. You guys probably sit there and say, listed in the description. Yeah, we've heard it all before, Rachel. <laughs> I am here to entertain. So there are three rows of the green. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my bright green, which is a totally different color. I'm going to add just a little bit of that to my light green in my paint palette, and it really changes the color. Don't mind the sleeve of my shirt. That's my painting sleeve. <laughs> I am so covered in paint all the time. So as you can see, I did three, two layers of that green, added a little bit more, and my dots just keep getting bigger and bigger. I just kept adding a little bit more bright green to my lime green or light green, and it changes the color gradually until it gets to look just like bright green in the, in the bottle. And then once I have that color, I'm going to be adding a little bit of aqua to, or not aqua, teal, sorry. And we're going to gradually change our green into teal, but at the same time, our dots are getting bigger. And you can see, I want you to start looking for all those imperfect circles, those imperfect dots, because they are there. Everybody always says, how do you get it so perfect? It is not perfect. It is just an illusion. <laughs> I am showing you guys some magic tricks. It's, it's the design. It really, the shape of the stone and the design itself, just putting them in layers and, and gradually changing the size of your dots and changing the color, it really just makes it look like everything is all aligned up. It's all perfect. But I'm telling you, none of these dots are a perfect circle, not a single one. And that is okay, because no matter how imperfect it is. They all work together and they all turn out beautifully in this beautiful, beautiful painting afterwards. So I am adding a little bit of teal to my bright green 
and then it changes the color. You only have to add a little bit and it really does change the color. You can see in your paint palette how much it changes each time. And then I'm going to do a couple of rows of that color and then I'm going to add more teal and do a couple of rows and you'll just see it gradually changing from light green to dark blue to cerulean blue because soon once we get through all the teal we're going to turn teal into cerulean blue which is also a magic trick changing light green into uh, bright green is a trick so it's kind of fun when you get to create with paint you can do whatever you want it's so much fun so you can see my green is changing uh, like a little bit as we go along as the dots get bigger now you can really start seeing some of the teal that's mixed in with the green and it's just gonna keep changing until we get to actual teal color right out of the bottle just like we did with the green and believe it or not we are going to be adding some hot pink some neon pink we're going to be adding purple to this um, but there are levels where you can stop if you don't want to go any further so I'll help you with those levels when we get there um, but I do keep adding to show you just how much colors gradually changing from one to another how much layering can change this how much uh, just a little dot on top of these dots will change the whole look of it um, and it's just amazing what you can do with just a couple colors of paint so far I've used one two three colors of paint light green bright green and teal well if you and the gold and the black background okay <laughs> if anybody wants to correct me <laughs> Um, I have to apologize also um, sometimes the camera starts focusing on my fingernails because they're so blingy and it won't focus on the rock so I apologize for that if that happens and it goes blurry while you're trying to watch this and really all you can see is my fancy schmancy nails <laughs> and no for anyone asking I did not go get my nails done at a time like this I do them my damn self <laughs> Uh, self-taught, 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 that's what I do. <laughs> so as you can see, this green has turned to teal because we've added so much teal to our green that it now is just officially teal. <laughs> and then we are going to add cerulean blue to our teal and we're going to darken our teal and we're going to make the dots bigger as we go along with the teal. And I really hope you guys are understanding me. <laughs> so I just want to check in. I want to let you guys all know, know that I miss you. Things just are not the same. Not the same at all. And I'm sure all of you are struggling in your own little ways. Maybe some of you really needed this time off. Maybe you needed more time with your family. We are all being forced to do things that we don't normally do. And I think it's really safe for us to just stay at home with our families right now. So I just want you guys all to know we're not, we're not isolating from each other. We're staying safe. We're not, we're not, um, trying not to be social right? I know social distancing was one of the things that came out, but you you don't have to be social distancing. You can still be social. You just have to be safe. So the safest way to do that right now is online. Uh, you can talk to people through video chats. I've heard of different ones called Zoom. There's FaceTime, Facebook videos you can do. Um, please try to connect with somebody if you're feeling scared or alone. Um, this is not easy and it is okay to not be okay right now it's it's fine if you're struggling we all are some of us hide it better so if you need help please ask for it ask a neighbor even message somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time and just be like you know what you used to make me laugh in high school I just want to hear your voice just do that just reach out to somebody we don't have to be alone right now we just have to be safe so I want you all to know that I miss you and I love you and I'm staying safe 
and I'm staying in my house with my boys and um, seeing far too many people still not doing that and it's really upsetting and I feel helpless to the situation and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that know exactly how I feel so I want you guys to know I'm doing my part to stay safe and stay inside and keep my kids healthy and keep myself healthy so that I can still be here for you guys. I want you to promise me you're doing the same. I, got, I want you guys here. I don't want my rock family to shrink uh, in any way, shape, or form. I want you guys all here with me. So keep painting. Find whatever it is you need to do to keep yourself sane through this. Don't just sit there and wait for news broadcasts. Um, stay safe and stay sane <laughs> and reach out if you need to. Um, so now I have added uh, in between my little yellow or not not yellow but light light green I added neon pink from Martha Stewart. I did two rows of that. My dots are gradually getting bigger and now I'm moved on to hot pink which is also 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 a Martha Stewart color and I'm doing three rows of that. Uh, and then I'm going to start adding a little bit of purple to my hot pink. So Violet Pansy, I'm just going to add a little drip in there and we're going to gradually change this pink to purple. Um, I know it's strange. If you wanted to stop there, I was talking too much, but you could have left it with just the green and blue and um, like just left it like that. If you preferred it like that, that's not a problem. But you can go on to this next stage where I am adding even more color. And I know you're like, what are you doing, girl? I am adding pink to this and purple because purple is my favorite color. <laughs> now I'm adding, because I did change my pink a little bit purple with a little drip of purple in there, I am now going around and I'm doing, instead of one dot, I'm doing two dots. So I've got two rows of this pinkish purple now, but my second row, I'm doing two dots. You guys see that okay? I know it's strange. Why are you doing this, Rachel? It's doing funny things to my eyes when I sit back a little bit. Well, there's a reason. <laughs> because I wanted purple in it, so I have to gradually make the pink turn purple. <laughs> So I am keeping it that same color. I'm doing some more dots. I'm just going to add a little bit more purple gradually until it starts darkening up. And then I'm going to switch to a purple paint called African Violet, which is much darker. And we're going to end up African Violet by the end of this. So you can really see these little pink and purple dots change it so much again. Um, it really changes the whole illusion of it. So this is adding gradual color. Um, and larger dots as you go along and everything just becomes so unified just like what we all need to be right now unified we need to stick together we all belong we just need to stick together through this because we are beautiful when we stick together so some of these dots are literally like overlapping my green dots or my blue dots I am not being very slow with this because I have a lot to do right now. Um, we're actually moving again because of this uh, situation. We can't afford to live where we are living. Um, I'm not working uh, nearly as much with my boys at home. So we are in the middle of packing again. We just moved in January. Um, so this is a little bit more stressful this time around and uh, we're doing it. We, it just was so unexpected. None of this was supposed to happen. So yes, I am busy and I'm going quickly with this. So it does seem like I'm going a little bit sloppy with it. It really doesn't look sloppy in the end. I promise I would not, I would not show you guys how to make a sloppy mess. <laughs> I am just, uh, not being as careful. I don't mind if a dot touches another dot. So if you see that and it bothers you, you don't have to go as fast as I am. And I've edited this, edited, oh, that's a hard word. I have edited this um, in order to speed up the process a little bit so that I don't bore you guys. So I have gradually turned my pink into purple. It's looking lovely. 
and uh, they all are just they just belong together all these colors the blue the purple the green the pink and the gold you have not seen enough gold on this I can hear you you're like Rachel are you only doing that little gold center heck no we're doing more <laughs> so here's the next step you can leave it like this if you don't want to add any more th to this if this is too much already stop here go seal it you'll love it but I being me am going to add another layer on top so I am putting a gold dot on each one of my first row of dots that we did so our our light green to teal to blue all of those dots those bigger dots that's the only spot that I'm putting a little dot of gold on I'm not putting gold on my pink and purple just on the greens and blues and they will the dots of gold get a little bit bigger as the dots get bigger but you don't have to do them too big even just that little speck of gold on there changes it all up again I'm sure you guys can see it It's just like whoa what's going on with my eyes it's crazy and these are super fun do them in any color you want um, basically pick a color like you could go from yellow to red and then do some greens and blues in the little the little dots like it, it, you can always start off with a totally different color palette you don't have to do it like me um, but I just wanted to show you that even though the dots aren't perfectly symmetrical even though um, I'm going kind of fast with it and I'm not being careful um, all these colors and all these dots just look so beautiful together. I love them. It's like my favorite color combination when I make these stones. So, And the Happy Dotting Company molds are perfect for these very much. I love them. <laughs> so I am still getting larger with the dots once I get down to that cerulean blue color. My blue is a little bit wet still, so I might have to go over some of these dots after. I'm also going to walk some dots of gold, just little ones, around those dark blue dots afterwards once once I'm done this part. Um, but I'll show you that as well. Uh, one thing I did want to say, well, did want my lord, you guys, please understand how nutty I'm going here with these kids. <laughs> and I don't drink nearly enough. <laughs> I have a bunch of palm bays in my fridge that I haven't touched yet, but I'm saving those for after the move. <laughs> after the move. I was going to have some on my birthday. Um, so now here's where I'm going to walk around these blue dots. You can see some of the, the stone coming through that black paint there. I am going to go over some of that with a paintbrush when the rest of my dots are dry um, so that they can't be seen. So the Black paint is actually black paint and not black with white specks all over it. It'll be fixed before I seal it with resin, just so you know. Um, so one thing I did want to mention is that I do have over 49,000 subscribers now and I am freaking out. Um, while I show you this beauty in resin right now, you guys, look at that. It's beautiful. I just love it. Oh, I'd love it. I'd love to see that on a beach in the sun. Um, anyway, you guys who have hit the subscribe button, I love you. Thank you so much. I just want the rest of you who have not hit the subscribe button to know that it is not going to cost you anything. So hit subscribe and keep painting. I love you.